Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I got this awesome comment from Jamie asking if I could do a video review on Puerto Peñasco, Sonora, Mexico, and it's about three hours away from Phoenix. And I love this because this will be my first international video, so I really appreciate this comment. If you guys want me to do a specific video on a city, on a county, a state, it doesn't even have to be in the United States. It could be anywhere in the world. It could even be a house. Go ahead and comment down below and I will jump in and make you that video. Now, before I begin uh, checking out this uh, Puerto Peñasco, Sonora, I want to show you this article that I found. It's from the New York Times and it basically outlines, you know, how the path to home ownership runs through Mexico. You could get a lot cheaper houses in Mexico uh, and sometimes you could live in a border town like if you live in San Diego, you know, crossing that border, you could see a huge price difference in properties. Now, I want to show you something, a paragraph that I was reading that really stood out. Um, and basically it's right here. So Mr. Galvez knows the, these numbers well. In San Diego, he and his wife rented a two bedroom cottage in North Park neighborhood for about $2,300 a month. Now they pay $1,450 for a month uh, for a 1,500 square foot house in a gated community that sits within 10 minute drive from the San Isidro border crossing. The proximity is important because Mr. Galvez uh, is a commercial insurance broker at the US company Cross crosses five days a week from home to his work in San Diego. Life in Tijuana, Mr. Galva said, is more stressful for him than his uh, and his family. The noise levels are higher, the air is not as clean. Despite Tijuana's well-publicized struggles with drug cartels, he does not worry about the crime, he said, because violence is significantly higher among those involved with drug trafficking and isolated in specific neighborhoods. So basically, guys, a lot of people are taking advantage of the fact that you can move south of the border for a lot cheaper. So I, I had a friend that lived in San Diego and he actually ended up getting a motorcycle. He worked in San Diego, lived in, in the beaches of Tijuana, and he ended up getting a motorcycle because it was a lot faster to cross the border with a motorcycle. But he did it for a lot a lot of years and then he sort of just got sick of it and he ended up moving back to the states and i think he got a, another job i think working in washington but basically moral of the story is that he did it he did it for a very very long time and it, he said certain things like it is a little bit more stressful but again life in the united states is also very stressful the difference is you're going to be paying a lot less money here so let's jump into puerto Peñasco. actually before i jump into this let me show you where it actually is now here is puerto Peñasco. so it's this little like a uh, port right in here let me zoom out so you guys know exactly where it is it is on in the Baja and the Gulf of California and the Baja Peninsula and it's all the way out here. Look how close it is to Phoenix. I mean, literally you could just, you know, get on this highway, cross the border right here and you are in this beautiful little town. So I've heard a lot of great things about uh, this area in particular, San Felipe. So a lot of people like to come here. Um, for vacation the water is very very calm it's it's just very very beautiful so this is where it is it's a very small tiny little community and let's see what kind of homes we can get for what kind of prices uh, I was kind of checking this out look at this here is a decent unit right in front of the water for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars let's look at some photos look at that look how um, the water here is so perfect it's so it's so calm, you know, so that's why a lot of people love it here. But check that out. That's beautiful. So you're on the other side of the road, not 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 totally desirable, but you do have this beautiful, beautiful ocean uh, front view. Look, you can kind of see the beach back here. So this is actually really cool. You know, maybe for a for a vacation rental, you know, you you live in the city, maybe you live in Phoenix and you come out here for the weekends is not that far of a drive and look how amazing this is. So this is definitely an apartment complex. Obviously you got amazing pools. Look at that beautiful dirt road right in front of you. This is really, really sick. And guys, it's only $250,000. And I wonder what the HOA is. So HOA right here, association fees is 200 bucks. So again, 200 bucks to have these beautiful pools right in front of the ocean to me it's sort of a steal and the building does look nice right uh plenty of parking and plenty of safe uh parking too right you 
that's a sort of important thing. Let's see what else we can find. Look at this. For 300000 you get your own little house, and it's completely moving ready. Everything's perfect, right? Let's see what else we can find here. So the kitchen is nice. So you could tell, like, once you leave uh, United States and uh, you go to these other types of websites, you can see it's a little bit different. Now, that's kind of cool. He's got a little massage chair there. I've been telling you guys, if you see my past videos, love those massage chairs looking to get one so this is like a the photos are yeah the photos are okay so this is a nice house how much was it it was three hundred thousand dollars four bedroom three bath 2300 square foot this is uh really really nice no hoa so again you know this is what i'm talking about is the idea that you could come out here and get something so much more affordable for such a better price look at this two hundred thousand dollars this might be in the same unit as the last one here, look how nice that is. The beaches are, the water here is actually really warm. And it's, it's all, wow, look at that. It's like resort living, again, gated neighborhood. So you don't have to ever worry about anything. Look at this tile floor. So it's good for durability. One of the nice things is, you know, they, uh, Mexico has been getting a bad rap lately. Wow, look at the stars, insane, uh, because of the crime. But you know, if anything, if you could come in here and buy something really cheap, something affordable you could turn it into an airbnb when you're not you know using it um and it's it could be a really good situation for some people so you know it's taking advantage of those prices now the only problem is when you're going to buy here you can't just buy uh you can't not get financing financing is very very difficult because you know no bank is gonna it's gonna it's gonna let you borrow if you live here in the united states right because what if you, you stop paying and things like that? So uh, to basically, you're gonna need cash. It's gonna be very, very hard to get financing. And uh, if you do eventually get financing, the interest rate is going to be a lot higher here than in the United States, unfortunately. Now, I don't totally know why this apartment is so expensive, because again, the other one was like a third of the price and look generally ju about just as nice although this has some really great uh, um, rooms and bathrooms and uh, everything is completely moving ready but look how much it is seven hundred thousand dollars you do get to live on the beach but i think this is a little bit too expensive and the association ouch is 422 dollars a month so this is actually a very expensive property must be probably very safe Let's look at one more, but I, I kind of get you the gist. If you want to have something somewhat affordable, you could be under the 300,000 range, but if you want something a lot nicer, you're definitely going to have to cough up some decent amount of bread. Look at this res total resort living right here, 540,000. This has a $430 HOA fee, and it is how many square foot? This is 1,500 square foot, three bedroom, two, uh, two bath. So this is actually a big apartment. And look at all those pool areas. Look at that incredible beach. I mean, talk about peaceful, guys. Talk And look, there's, there's nobody even using any of the amenities. I could guarantee you this is a situation where people come here on vacation. So this is probably going to be empty most of the time, uh, which is kind of nice for some people and not so nice for some people. You know, some people like busyness, but you could see why the association is so much. You got to take care of all this pool area. So remember, associations only go up, but this is completely moving ready. I really like this house. It's the funky colors. You know, remember you are in Mexico and if you are coming here for a vacation, you sort of want you know, you want to feel like you're somewhere else, right? You want to you want to get that feeling. I think the walls do, the colors make it look nice. But if you don't like it, you could always repaint. Let me see. So this is $540,000. You're going to need a lot of money to come in here and make it work. Remember, you can't get financing the way you can in the United States. Uh, so it just makes it a lot more expensive. So it's great for people to buy. But when you think about buying something like this in the United States, think about going to South Beach and buying an apartment, a 1500 square foot apartment on the water, overlooking the pool area like that, you're looking at two, $3 million. Here you could come in and get something similar for 540. What's the flip side? The flip side is you get across a border, right? Uh, and that's kind of sucky for a lot of people. Uh, you know, and, and there's just like, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of riffraff. There's a lot of, 
you know, stories coming out around this area that it's not desirable. So people are scared and that's what keeps the prices somewhat pretty low. But if you look, I mean, it looks like the nice apartments are around 500,000. Looks like you could get houses for a little bit cheaper and look like condos right here for 329,000. So you definitely have a lot of options. I personally, um, my personal opinion, if I was gonna jump into something like this, I would most likely want to find an affordable condo, maybe something not so big, maybe a two bedroom at the most, uh, because I wouldn't want to have a house, right? I wouldn't want to have the responsibility of a house. Like this is really nice, $275,000, uh, really close to the beach. I think I could see the ocean right here. It's nice, but it's more maintenance. You know, you got to worry about people breaking into your house when you're not there. Uh, and that sort of becomes a problem. If you have an apartment complex, you don't have to worry about that stuff. Now, if you're going to be here a lot, if you're going to be living here, obviously I would uh, get a house because, you know, you don't have to pay the HOA fee. You're always there and, you know, you're always making it better and whatnot. But if I was just going to be, if this was just going to be a weekend thing for me, look how beautiful that is. Look at that ocean right in front of you. Awesome. And this is very cheap house. But yeah, if, if this was going to be like a weekend getaway, absolutely, absolutely, definitely would want to get a, a condo. But look how awesome. Here's your propane right here. And you get a little bit of land. Very, very cute. I mean, imagine coming here in the later in life, 10, 20 years. You could be sitting on a gold mine. You get your little boat. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad I came to this town and did some research on this. So again, guys, if you, I'm going to go ahead and finish this video. If you guys want me to do a video on a specific city, a specific county, a specific state, uh, even it doesn't even have to be in the United States. It could be anywhere in the world. Please go ahead, comment down below and I will jump in and make you that video. If you're new to my channel and you like my videos, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.